Hi there, uh, welcome to the video. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create cloth, like you can see here, that sort of dangling and waving in the wind. It's pretty straightforward in Unity, and um, it looks really cool, I think. The scene is from my course, um, and if you wanna support me on here, then you can hop on over to Udemy. I've included a link in the description below where you, if you click on it, you'll get a discount on the course it'll teach you how to model how to paint in substance painter and how to build scenes in unity like this basically so you can see the object here it's pretty straightforward it's a white box object there's no textures on it at the moment it's uh it's part of a new section that i'm creating on my udemy course and um so let's get started i'll show you how it was done Okay, I just want to start off by showing you the model. I built this in uh, 3D Studio, as you can see here. Um, it's a very simplistic model. It's in three pieces. As you can see over on the left. Um, so I've got the, the top as one model, uh, the back as another piece, and the frame as another piece. Um, no skinning, nothing. Just plain, plain mesh plain model uh, it still needs its textures normal maps and all that but uh, for this purposes it's it's fine and that's uh, that's what I've done so I've created that and exported it and we're gonna go straight into unity now and set it up okay so here we are here we have it the mesh in unity just a standard mesh I've dropped it in the scene uh, I placed it where I want it so now I'm gonna add cloth to the back piece that's highlighted here up here you can see in my hierarchy I've got the canvas cover that's what I call the object in max and each object um, you can see there's the three pieces so it's the back that we're going to apply this uh, cloth to so first of all come over here add a component down here and we want to add a skinned mesh renderer so type in skinned there and you can see it add that and we can now get rid of this we don't need this mesh renderer anymore so we can remove that and now we want to add another component so we want to add cloth so we add that like so so we've got these two components on our mesh and what we need to do now is add weight to this cloth and we do that by clicking on this button over here. When you click on it, this brings up a cloth constraints uh, dialog box. And you'll see that all the, all the verts in the object have been exposed. And what we've got to do is apply weights to, these, to each of these verts to tell Unity how much we want each of these verts to move, basically, in its most simple form. And some of these, we don't want them to move at all. Like the anchor points are in the corner. So they've got to be static and we want, I want to keep it static along the top so that the bottom moves a lot, the top is static so it waves around uh, as if it's sort of hanging there basically. So we can do that by adding, uh, like I said, adding weights, painting into the verts. So, so to keep them static, this has got to be on zero. Max distance, uh, set that to zero. You'll see that it goes red and then you've got your brush here. You can change your brush size if you want to. And then you just start painting into the verse like this. Paint, paint, paint. Very simple. And this object is two-sided. So we turn it around and we do this side as well. If you don't do that, it'll just start acting really crazy. So you make sure you get all your verts. So paint all those. And that will keep the top and the corners completely static and they won't move at all. Next, we want to add a bit of movement to the next sort of section down. And the further down we go, we want even more movement. So the bottom has the most movement. So we add a one in here for the next sort of section down. And we start painting in here like this. 
three down should be fine depending on your density of your mesh uh, let's turn it around do the other side you know if you've only got a one side uh, polygon here then you won't need to turn it around but like I said I've got thickness on here so it's double sided so next up we go to let me give that some give that some paint those verts like that and you can see they're changing color as I add more variation so we'll make this three and then if I paint this you can see those are yellow those are purple static is red and these are green for the f most movement turn it around okay I forgot to do those let's just do this on three like this Go. Put this back to two. Like that. Just paint these in here. So I'll do the same. Okay. Like three. So I'll do these two along there, like that. There you go. So that's the weights all painted up. So we can uh, come out of there now, like so. If we go back in, weights will still be there, all painted up nicely, so they're not going anywhere. Um, the next thing we need to do is add some movement to this. <clears throat> so we can do that by adding some external acceleration. Uh, so what this will do is sort of make it move like the wind, basically. Uh, let's add some, let's make this, I don't know, minus three. You can play with these numbers. Obviously, I don't want it to go vertically. I just want it to go backwards and forwards. Maybe a bit on the Z. Make it, no, just on the X. So that's going backwards and forwards, basically. So X will go this way like this. Uh, we want some random accelerations. So we put some randomness in here up to three. Okay. Okay, one thing I forgot to mention is do not have your object uh, static. Don't tick static. Make sure static is turned off like so up here. Um, now I can. Let's go check it out and see what it's doing. See how it's moving. There you go. Blowing in the wind. Looks very cool. I didn't change the top. I've done exactly the same for the top. Um, but uh, with that, I obviously made all four corners rigid and I added some uh, movement into the center of it so, and the edges. So it just, it just wobbles just enough to be fairly convincing, I think, which is pretty cool. And that's it. That's how you do cloth in Unity. It's very simple. It's fairly convincing. Looks like it's blowing in the wind. There you go. I hope that's useful. Don't forget, sign up to my course if you uh, if you want to learn how to build the scene and learn how to model texture and substance, build scenes in Unity. Then come on over. The link is in the description below, and you'll get a discount too. So I'll see you over there. If not, I'll see you in the next video.